Om Shanti. There was one potter who is to make different items of clay and he had a donkey and once that potter was going through one forest with his donkey and he found something shining very much it was a stone which was shining so he took that stone which was shining and he didn't know what to do with that stone in fact it was not stone but a diamond so that potter takes that stone makes a garland out of it and puts around his monkey his donkey and is going on the way as he was going through that way there was one jeweler who happened to pass by that way and he notices this is a very costly diamond and this jeweler had never seen such a big diamond ever in his life and from a distance he could make out that this is a very very precious and very costly expensive diamond so he goes to that potter and asks what are you carrying this and from the expression of the potter he understands that potter has no value of that diamond or he just thinks it is just a stone so the jeweler says i want to purchase this stone how much you will give so that potter is illiterate so he doesn't know how much to ask so with lot of difficulty he says i will take 8 annas so jeweler is quite shrewd and cunning he says for such a ordinary stone you want 8 annas i will give you just 4 annas that's it not more than that so the potter is not understanding what to do so he says no no 4 is too less but the jeweler says that is the only thing i can give you otherwise go away i don't want to take and he makes a show of that as if he is going away thinking that the potter will call him back so the jeweler goes away and we when the potter doesn't call he turns back and says what happened but by that time something else has happened another jeweler was going through that way and he notices that and he purchases that for 1 rupee so this first jeweler asks where is that diamond he says i have sold it for 1 rupee the jeweler says you fool you don't know that was a diamond and you sold it for 1 rupee the potter says i was fool but what about you <laughs> you knew that it was diamond i did not know for me whether it is 8 annas or 1 rupees or 4 annas whatever but you knew it and yet you lost it so it was such a precious gift it was such a precious thing and you couldn't know the importance of it and you lost it so this is the story of a diamond and a potter baba has also gifted us many <coughs> things do we know the importance of those gifts last sunday baba said i give you two gifts which were they the divine intellect divine intellect and baba had compared divine intellect to five things and last sunday smoothly divine intellect is a gift so take care that this intellect is not stolen by anybody maya doesn't steal away this gift of yours this is the divine intellect which you have got so this intellect is a gift second this intellect is a canopy it's a canopy but when maya's shadow chaya falls on this this canopy this chhatra goes away so see that maya doesn't make 
its shadow fall upon this divine intellect the third is this divine intellect is a lift see that it doesn't get stuck in between neither up nor down you are stuck somewhere in between so this is the lift that takes you anywhere the three worlds and the switch is awareness on the switch of awareness and the lift starts this divine intellect is a flight again the switch is awareness and the flight takes you anywhere just as those people go to himalayas and throw ashes or to rivers and the ash spread everywhere in the similar manner your divine intellect is a flight it's a plane it's an aeroplane that with that aeroplane with that light might stage you go and spread the vibrations of pure feelings and good wishes across the world and fifth divine intellect is a golden container golden container see that this golden con- golden container is not contaminated by silver or copper so that was last sunday's murli today sincerely baba mentioned about the another gift that is divine i otherwise many murlis you see he will say next time i will tell and the next time never comes here religiously he has mentioned about another gift just as divine intellect has been compared to five things in today's avyakta murli divine i has also been compared to five things so today's murli starts with baba is trikal darshi he is the knower of three aspects of time and he has come and is seeing the children who are trikal darshi and children who have got third eye that are that is three netri so this is a murli of 23rd january 85 that was the period when television had come in india in fact television came long back in 59 but introduction in india was in 82 and uh, there was only one channel doordarshan that time and that was a period of 80s and uh, it was 15th august i think 82 when the first direct color broadcast was shown of parade national parade of delhi at different places so that was a period of television and people were glued to television that time the old television serials like those hum log and that buniyad and all those things were going on during that time so doordarshan was a revolution and this murli was in 84 85 so baba had compared divine eyes with divine this divine television so as i said there are five comparisons in this murli the first divine eyes or third eye of wisdom the fourth comparison is it's a gift just as baba said last time that divine intellect is a gift and take care that maya doesn't steal away in today's murli baba said this divine eye everybody has received this eye this is a gift you have received 100% powerful this is this gift is 100% powerful but it depends upon three things how you use it rules kaide praman precautions parhez praman and third attention praman you have received this gift each one of you baba has given this gift but how much you have become two categories fully powerful and 
powerful as per the percentage this thing depends upon these three things what are those three things how much rules you follow how much parhez how much precautions you take and how much attentive you are the more attentive you are the more powerful you become your gift of i becomes very powerful the more you follow rules the more powerful you become and the more you follow precautions parhez at another place baba said shrimat is parhez shrimat is precaution shrimat is dawa dua shrimat is medicine and shrimat is also blessing so shrimat has been compared to three things so the first thing about eyes is that eyes are the gift baba has given us just imagine a person who is blind and suddenly he gets eyes what thrill what pleasure what joy what ecstasy he feels somebody had eyed eyes and then eyes were lost and again he gets eyes where the hope was lost so in the similar manner this is the world of spiritual blindness where everyone is spiritually blind and baba has come and given us the third eye of wisdom baba has come and given us the third eye and this has come as a gift so that's the first analogy first comparison baba often talks in terms of comparisons and when father comes he gives you gift and this father has come and brought this gift of divine eyes knowing that what is the pain and what is the misery of spiritually blind children the person who is blind can you imagine his pain he can't see the world what do you see the beauty the glory the colors he can listen but he cannot see so that's a deep pain to be blind in this life second binoculars divine eyes are divine binoculars durbin with binoculars two things you do things appear near and things appear clear things which are far away you see them near and things which are hazy cloudy they look very very conspicuous very much clear so with binoculars baba said you see things which are far away very clear and very much near to you this is that divine binocular the example given here is paramdham science tries hard but it cannot reach supreme abode at the most it can reach suns uh, planets and moon day before yesterday's night chandrayaan 2 it failed just 2.1 km away from moon the whole world was awake or rather the whole india was awake watching at 2 o'clock in the morning what happens what happens what happens and the moment chandrayaan was about to land vikram it lost connection and it was lost so otherwise india would have become the fourth country ussr us china and then india but it's okay next time we'll try again <laughs> they said in hindi this sampark was broken but not sankalp the communication was broken but not the sankalp so baba said you can reach these places it's possible but you cannot reach you cannot see with your eyes paramdham the three world and three aspects of time three lok and 
trikal you cannot see with these eyes with this physical eyes you need divine eyes just as in mahabharata it's shown that sanjay was given divine eyes and with those divine eyes he attained the psycho uh, parapsychological powers of clairaudience and clairvoyance he was sitting at one place and seeing what was happening there he was sitting at one place and listening what was being said told there on the battlefield so he was the only person who could hear that geeta as it was shown who was not on the battlefield so these divine eyes are divine binoculars with these eyes you can see things which are not here which things which are far away will you see them here with these divine binoculars you can see things very very clearly as they are without any confusion and you can see subtle world and you can see the supreme abode the land of liberation so that was the second comparison the third comparison this divine eye is the eye of experience eyes of experience baba said the things which were yesterday 5000 years back you feel they are right now and multiple examples have been given here right now you are brahmin you are going to become deity yesterday you were worship worthy now you are becoming that he also gave the example of coat hanging in front of you so just as you see any dress hanging in front of you i am going to wear it right now just as this brahma used to see or feel that i was deity and i am going to become deity in the similar manner this divine eye is a eye of experience and with that eye of experience you can see you can feel your form as it is as it was yesterday now it is and what you are going to become so divine eye divya netra is the eye of anubhav experience with this experience you feel yes and here again baba gave some self checking points what were the self checking point just see how much powerful is your vision if your eyes are weak you cannot see and here if your eyes are weak you will see stains and what are the stains augun you will not see virtues you will see rather defects faults failings if your eyes are not powerful and baba also gave the example of just as those scientific people people of science they see through glass and they see germs in the similar manner you can use this and kill all the germs and become healthy so your divine eyes are eyes of experience so experience what was yesterday and what is going to become today what is going to happen today and feel it very very clearly then fourth divine eyes are powerful instrument shaktishali yantra divine eyes are powerful instrument what you can do with this instrument hmm here baba said you can just as these physical eyes see the body in the similar manner divine eyes will naturally see only souls so it's a very powerful instrument with that instrument you will be able to see others naturally as souls you don't have to make any efforts that this is body and this is soul no such efforts no such confusion baba said you will be able to see everyone naturally as a soul as an embodiment of all qualities that's why this is a very very powerful instrument yantra to so use it and last it's a divine television
in that television you see dance and that's a danger dance that is a danger dance you have to see the dance of deities and you have to see the dance of angels so this is a very strict instruction from baba regarding television and television serials and television programs and movies and everything that's shown on television that was 80s where only one channel was there doordarshan now what is the number of channels above 900 900 and that time it was much better are launching every day new channels are coming so baba said in this television what you see this is a very very beautiful yoga experiment you can do baba said you can see the divine film of your all births of golden age all the 24 21 births of golden age you can see you can see the thorn you can see the uh, your crown you can see the divine story of the soul sri birth so you can see everything you can see the divine kingdom in this television keep on seeing this television don't see that television there is a danger dance there see this television or rather see only this television uh, there is a peace of mind channel and many people did not have any channels so they purchased or they got this channel at home thinking that let us watch peace of Ch- mind peace of mind channel so they started watching peace of mind but along with peace of mind there are so many other channels and other tv serials so they started watching both so they watch peace of mind also and after that they watch some tel serial and after that they watch some advertisement and after that they watch also some movie and then again peace of mind again some class again some exp- then meditation and after meditation again earlier they did not have any idea about television serials but now they are quite aware of different other serials so many other serials which are going on so there is a maya everywhere that's why baba said watch this television that's the danger dance which is shown in the television that dance makes one body conscious if you want to see the dance or you want to dance dance this dance of deities and dance of angels so these are the five examples given in today's murli the divine i is the gift we have received and how is this i what is this i it's a gift so if it is a gift you have to make it 100% powerful how by three things precautions by rules kaide praman parhez praman and attention by rules by attention by precautions you will become 100% powerful your eyes will become so powerful that they will become like laser or like glass you will kill all the germs so it's a gift you have to preserve this gift you have to know the importance of this gift and just as divine intellect was a gift and baba said maya should not steal it away even this divine eyes maya can steal away and then you will not be able to see things as they are so it's a beautiful gift baba has given us and these divine eyes will see only divinities only divine things only souls these eyes do not see body physical eyes will see body but divine eyes see only souls only divinity only spirituality only this potential spark of spirituality second divine eyes are divya durbin they are binoculars with binoculars the things which are far away you see them near and you see them clearly and baba gave the example of paramdham here you can see paramdham very clearly three world and three aspects of time 
you can go anywhere with this divine eyes so use them as binocular use them as divya durbin the third is these are the eye of experience with that you can experience what was 5000 years back as if it was yesterday kal and aaj as if it was yesterday and it is today yesterday i was deity i am going to become deity now i am brahmin i am going to become deity just as you see your clothes hanging in front of you i am going and coming and wearing those clothes just as brahma used to feel that clothes are hanging in front of him i am going to wear those clothes so this divine eyes are the eye of experience and here baba also gave so many checking points see that your eyes are powerful see that eyes do not become weak because if eyes become weak you will see only stains dag you will see stains blemish so make these eyes powerful and for that baba said shrimat is parhez shrimat is dawa and dua shrimat is medication shrimat is blessing and shrimat is precaution take care of shrimat and you will automatically become powerful you will have very powerful eyes of experience so divine eyes are the eyes of experience with that you can experience whatever you want next is divine eyes are the powerful instrument and with that instrument you don't have to make efforts you will very easily see everyone as souls so start seeing as everyone as soul so this you can don't look through this if you see with these eyes you will see the world so start seeing from here whenever baba brahma baba used to meet somebody he used to see like this they will ask why you did like that baba was saying i was seeing through this that's why like this i am not seeing through this <laughs> because if i see through this i will see body so you have to see like this if you meet somebody like this oh okay so consider yourself as a soul and see others as soul that's a soul conscious vision that's a powerful instrument shakti shali yantra so divine eyes are powerful yantra and the last divine eyes are television so that's an era of television 1982 when the television came in india and people used to have earlier black and white tv and then color television came and those who did not have color television they used to feel unhappy and jealous of those people who are having color television and those who did not have television they used to go to the neighborhood to watch ramayana and mahabharata hum log and buniyad and neev and chandrakanta and karamchand and byomkesh bakshi mickey mouse <laughs> and spider man no that's recent we are talking of 80s alif leila <laughs> so that was an era where television was introduced and everywhere television 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 people were and there was that music of durdarshan <laughs> that particular theme and that music sound that you know track is there so so baba said your divine eyes are the television so in this television black and white so only this much with the screen <laughs> is okay <laughs> so the screen is this much so baba said in this screen see movie which film film of you at 84 births do baba said 21 but you can see you can extend no that was 1980s now we are in so <laughs> so that was you can extend this tele this film see all your births see that kingdom see everything that has transpired in the past so this is a beautiful television where you see with your mind's eye with your third eye 
the different scenario the different vistas the different visions of the past life or you can even see the future in this television you can see past you can see present and you can see future what you are going to become that television is going to show you what you were in the past that is also television will show and what you are going to become that also this television will show so this is a very beautiful television but here the switch is awareness just as divine intellect has it is a lift the switch is awareness divine intellect is a flight the switch is awareness in the similar manner the switch is there used to be a knob here no you have to on it on off knob and volume and outside there is a antenna you have to go to the antenna and set it at different places <laughs> when you can't see properly so some of the family member would climb the terrace and he will shout from there now it's okay <laughs> and he will turn the antenna to this side then he will ask how is it now and they will say it is coming it is coming and then again he will get again he will adjust now it is coming come come now don't change <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the monkey would come and disturb the settings of antenna <laughs> so once it is set then he will come down and they will feel happy <laughs> so sometimes when there is a rain the antenna would get disturbed so they will feel khar khar <laughs> like that <laughs> so those were the very different days old days and <laughs> and they used to very peculiar advertisements and people used to enjoy those advertisements and only one channel and earlier radio and television was combined but then in 77 or 79 the two got separated earlier only delhi it used to be then the second city was mumbai and then at few other places at seven places and then gradually it spread everywhere the first as i said color program which was broadcasted was 15 january parade in 1982 first and then asian games and then all those um, uh, serials and when there used to be ramayana there was no crowd on the roads total silence <laughs> no nobody on the road everybody is glued and crying seeing ram going to vanvas exile and that was a different period so they used to feel that now no nobody feels <laughs> so this is in short about today's murli so create a new beautiful television and see yourself in that television this is a binocular this is a television this is eye of experience this is a powerful instrument and this is the gift baba has given you so preserve this this is a gift <laughs> om shanti
Drenched in sun. Oh, God.